Okay, guys, got two tricks I'm going to show you today. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm following the uh, overbought condition. I've got to follow that on all of these high-moving stocks, and we've been following Apple, and it's still trading around 85 on the RSI. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you a quick, but <clears throat> if as you see the indicators here, uh, whenever they programmed it in, they, they've got it at 30, 50, 70, and 100, okay? So it's difficult to determine the line here, okay? So here's how you do that. <clears throat> you go to Select Indicators. You go down to Horizontal Line. You pull it over. Edit. And I'm going to change it to red we're going to put in a value here and we're going to put 80 okay apply okay all right so we've got a horizontal line down here as an indicator we've got an rsi here at 85 okay so what we're going to do we're going to link those two So you see the RSI indicator there. You see the horizontal line indicator there. You click between the dots. Click Apply. And those two are now linked. You see, you see where 80 is. That's the horizontal line. That will remain there. And you see where the RSI is at 85. Okay. All right. Now, next, all right, that takes care of that. Okay. <clears throat> now, we've been watching uh, Halliburton. Okay, so we're watching HAL to see what this bad boy is going to do today. <clears throat> We've got a position. All right, now I've got it set up on a 500 tick chart. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some hotkeys on this uh, using the number keys. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. There's five, okay? And it works that way on regar regardless of the um, ticks that you use. Let's try it on a 1,000 tick, okay? This is why we want to see um, uh, where this thing possibly is heading, okay? So, again, one, two, three, four, okay? Now, in case you guys from Louisiana or Oklahoma can't see this, you had a clear liftoff here, all right? And you see the slide here? Let's go back. Let's go back to a 500. And again, you have to expand your horizon a bit. You can see the... Uh, it's sliding down here, sliding down, comes all the way down to 33.98, something like that, bounces, and then you got a lift off, okay? Um, and so to confirm this lift off here, you're going to go back, you, you got to carry it out. I mean, you want to see where this thing's going. If you want to see, you want to look for an entry, you go fewer ticks. You want to see where it's headed, you confirm it with the higher ticks. Does that make sense? So you can see slide, 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 lift off. Okay, so there you go. You've got, you've got, uh, these are in perfect formation. There's your T3, T5, T8. Okay, so what will happen, though, is we'll see people that will get shook out because what they're doing is they're staying with the T3s, okay? So you're going to be all over the place. Let's look at the... Um, so if you get... If you're, if you're staying with the T10... The, the 10 tick, rather, I'm sorry. If you stay with the 10 tick, you're going to get shook out. You look for an entry on that, but not necessarily an exit. You have to look at where this thing uh, has been and where it's going. Okay, now we'll go to a 200 tick. Uh, it looks like on the 200, you see it lifted off and it's done. Okay, well, you expand it out a little bit further and you see that that's not the case. Again, um, 
going back to a thousand tick. They're still in pretty good shape here. Come sa. Uh, by the way, that's uh, Cajun for. You understand? You got it. <laughs> Thanks for watching this, Mikey.